Okay, so I'm sure most of you wanna know what weight I am starting off at uh, from this cycle. Um, I forgot to uh, film it, but when I started, I was 198. This was about four or five days ago. Um, so I probably already put on some weight. We'll have to see. I'm going to take off this robe and I'm gonna be completely naked for the weight, weigh in. And we'll see how much muscle I'm gonna put on in a freaking month, baby. Watch, let's get it. Okay, so I'm gonna start the scale. And we got that. I'm gonna go on it. All right, it says I'm 197, so I lost a pound since four or five days ago. That's interesting, because I've increased my calories and my protein intake as well. But my training has been a lot more frequent, so that's, pro that's probably why um, I lost some weight. This is really interesting. I'm losing weight right now. Okay, um, the goal is to hit 230 pounds. Um, I usually get uncomfortable about 220 but we're gonna try to keep the waistline uh, in check and I'm gonna try to do more of a lean bulk. So hopefully going into my growth, I'm gonna be more vascular um, and uh, vol more volumized in the uh, muscle composition. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, and so my current cycle right now is uh, test and DECA. I am starting at 300 milligrams of test twice a week. So that'll be 600 milligrams and I'm doing about 450 to 500 of DECA, plus two cc's of Primo, which is about 200 milligrams a week. Um, the first shot I did on Tuesday, last Tuesday, today is Friday, which is my second shot. I noticed I got some a migraine. I had a fever yesterday, and then I just like sweat buckets last night. So oh, this is probably a hormonal fluctuation because the site I injected is not tender. Um, there's no soreness or swelling. Um, so I usually don't get any swelling from DECA or Primo. Uh, the test has an anthonate in it. Uh, it's a three strand with sipinate, an anthonate, and the uh, test decanate, which is the longest uh, ester, which I think it lasts about four or five weeks in the system. So because it's, um, it's diluted with uh, two other compounds, sipinate and the uh, decanate test, testosterone, uh, those don't actually make my muscles um, inflamed from the site I inject. It's the anenthanate that uh, I know, enanthate, whatever you pronounce it, that uh, usually causes the inflammation for me. So since it's been diluted with Primo and Deca and the two other strands in there as well, uh, I don't feel anything in the area I injected. So there shouldn't be a reaction from the site. Um, this is probably a hormonal fluctuation for sure because my neck feels tight. My lower back feels a little tight. Um, and I sweat buckets last night, so this morning my whole bed was freaking drenched. I also had a hard time sleeping a little bit. I was like tossing and turning, but I did get mine eight, nine hours, which is good. Um, I could say that uh, I slept a lot more last night than usual. So um, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted, see what's going on. Uh, we're gonna keep this going. Um, I might fluctuate to a different, uh, two different compounds afterwards, maybe about after a month or two um, to see, you know, uh, well, I'm gonna go by how my body feels. So I know I'm gonna have a lot of a huge growth phase from just these uh, compounds alone. Um, I'm not gonna do, uh, do uh, I'm not gonna be doing any orals just because I don't wanna stress out my organs. I've been doing this shit for years. I was probably on a Rimadex for like a year straight and my ALT enzymes in my liver was quite high. It was about 110 when I last got, uh, not my last blood work, but uh, two months ago. So the last one, it went down by 50%. So it's around 50 right now, 55, which can be still high according to the, um, according to what it's supposed to be. I think the range is like 20 and under or 25. I'm not too sure. I, I got to check again. But um, so it's gone down drastically and I feel healthy. My ankles don't swell up. So we're going to go according to how I feel. When the results start to maintain, I'm going to change the dosages to a test propanate, um, a trend, and a uh, primobolin uh, combination. Uh, I might do Mastrone, but we'll see how I feel. I think I'm just gonna stick with the Primo. Um, I might keep a slow DECA compound as well, just a little bit on the side. Um, but I'll tell you guys how I do that cycle as well. And um, yeah, let's get this going, bro. Let's see the size and the gains. Yeah, it's a new series. <laughs> let's get it.